Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about absolute cost advantage theory of international trade for UGC net. This theory is given by Adam Smith in his book named Wealth of Nation. What do you mean by absolute cost advantage? Absolute cost advantage is ability of country to produce goods at lower cost as compared to other country. Absolute cost advantage is ability of country to produce goods at lower cost as compared to other countries. And absolute disadvantage means produce goods at higher cost as compared to other country. And according to this theory, a country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have absolute cost advantage and should reduce production and increase import of those goods in which they have absolute disadvantage. Now we will see assumptions. There are two commodities, two countries, no transportation cost. Labors are homogeneous means all labors are same. Labor is only factor of production. Labor can move within any country, means labor can go for work anywhere within one country, but cannot go for work between countries. And there is free trade without any restrictions. Now, with the help of this table, we will clearly understand this theory. We have only two countries, India and USA, and have two commodities, tea and melon. Suppose by using 8 hours of labors, India can produce 20 units of tea. With the same 8 hours of labors, USA can produce only 5 units of tea. So, we can say that India has absolute cost advantage in production of tea because India can produce tea at lower cost as compared to USA. But USA has absolute disadvantage in production of tea because USA can produce tea at higher cost as compared to India. On the other hand, here you can see by using 8 hours of labor, USA can produce 20 units of melon. With the same 8 hours of labor, India can produce only 10 units of melons. So, we can say that USA has absolute cost advantage in production of melon because USA can produce melon at a lower cost as compared to India. But India has absolute disadvantage in production of melon because India can produce melon at higher cost as compared to USA. According to this theory, country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have absolute cost advantage and should reduce production and increase import of those goods in which they have absolute disadvantage. So, India has absolute cost advantage in production of tea. That's why India should increase the production of tea so that it can increase the export of tea in USA. But India have absolute disadvantage in melon. That's why India should reduce or stop the production of melon and start doing import of melon from USA. USA have absolute cost advantage in melon. So, USA should increase the production and export of melon, but reduce the production of tea and start doing import of tea from India. So, what is benefit of doing trade according to absolute cost advantage or disadvantage? We will clearly understand by doing comparison between total production before international trade and total production after international trade. Total production of tea before international trade was equal to 25 units. 20 unit was produced by India and 5 unit was produced by USA. And total production of melon before international trade was equal to 30 units. 10 units was produced by India and 20 units was produced by USA. Same thing you can see in this diagram on x-axis we are production of melon and y-axis we are production of tea. This is India production line and this is USA production line. Before trade India is producing 20 units of tea and 10 units of melon. Before trade USA is producing 5 units of tea and 20 units of melon. Total production of tea before trade is equal to 25 units and total production of melon before trade is equal to 30 units. Now we will see after trade, after trade increase in total production. Here you can see after trade 
India increased the production of tea because India has absolute cost advantage in production of tea. And India stopped doing the production of melon because India has a absolute disadvantage in production of melon. Now India is using uh, all 16 hours of labor in production of tea. Earlier India was using only 8 hours of labor in the production of tea. Now India is using whole 16 hours of labor in the production of tea. That's why production of tea has increased from 20 unit to 40 unit. On the other hand, USA stopped doing the production of tea because USA has absolute disadvantage in production of tea. Now, USA is using all 16 hours of labor in the production of melon. That's why production of melon has increased from 20 units to 40 units. Here you can see total production of tea after trade has increased from 25 unit to 40 unit. Before trade, total production of tea was 25 unit. But after trade, total production of tea has increased from 25 unit to 40 unit. Same thing you can see before trade, total production of melon was 30 unit. But after trade, total production of melon has increased from 30 unit to 40 unit. So here you can see total production has increased because we are doing a trade according to absolute cost and uh, absolute cost advantage and disadvantage that means by doing this both countries are benefited now we are going to talk about criticism of this theory according to this theory country should increase the production and export of those goods in which they have absolute cost advantage that's why this theory is not applicable when country don't have absolute cost advantage in any commodity ignore government intervention as you know government play a very important role in international trade but this theory ignore government intervention goods are not identical this theory assume goods are identical if one country can produce less quantities of one goods it can be possible its quality may be better than other country but this theory only consider quantities and ignore quality and assume all goods are identical uh, labors are not homogeneous. This theory assumes labors are homogeneous, but this is not true. Labors are different from each other. Ignore other factor of production. This theory consider labor is only one factor of production and ignore other factor of production. And uh, according to this theory, labor cannot go for work between countries. But this is not true. Labor can go for work in other countries also. So this is all about absolute cost advantage theory. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,